So the five packings that we mentioned previously, there they are, the five packings. They've been throat soaking in throat seal oil, always soaked them, so that what you can see there is the lubrication has been pushed up into the side, inside the chevron seal itself, so that they're well lubricated and ready for reassembly. So that's your retainer. Your packings go back on the stem, like so. So ensure that they're all home. That means they're all married together appropriately, so there's no gaps. They all push in home, and you can see that there's no gaps between any of the packers. So the last item I need is the retainer. So would it be this one? Of course not. You need a, a D-shape retainer for the other side of it. So you've got the top packings, and you'll need the retainer for the bottom ones. So there it is. See the shape of that? The concentric to fit the packings themselves. So we slide that on there. Now the next item of reassembly is putting this back into the piston itself. So what we do need to do is now we need to wipe this with a little bit of solvent because we're going to put some Loctite on there to ensure that it's retained within the stem of the piston itself. So with a little bit of solvent on a rag, I'll give this a wipe. So I don't wipe the the lubrication off the packers, I just wipe the, the thread stem itself, like so, and it's ready to reassemble. Now, as far as Loctite, Loctite's concerned, less is more, so that you only put a small amount on there, and that's more than adequate, because what will happen is when you thread that in, because it's a fine thread, it's NPT thread, because it's only a fine thread, that'll carry that remnants of all that dollop right around the thread. So if you put too much on there, what'll happen is it'll encumber the thread and you won't be able to get it back out appropriately. So there's one thing missing here. That's a seat, that's a secondary seat. So what we need is in there is the ball. Now the other reason I don't put too much Loctite on there is because the Loctite can run back onto the edge of the seat and actually stick the ball to the seat. So by doing it that way, I can see now where the, where the Loctite is. I can see where the ball is. The thread in the end of the piston is clean. All the venturis or ports or outlets are all clean. And I reassemble it. Now what I do like about these pistons is they're all identified. So here you are, it's a 220cc piston and it's a 220cc packing kit that we're utilising. So it's a PTFE. So just to go back on that again for you, check that you put the packers in the right way. There you can see the conical section and the sergeant seal or the chevron seal is facing up. So this is the pressure chamber here. So we screw that back home, like so. Now, remember I said it's torque to 60 foot pound. Well, if I had a torque wrench on site with me, I'd be really grateful because then I can ensure that I get it in 60 foot pounds. What happens is that this particular piston stem, the thread has a shoulder. So the thread actually runs out. So it's a, this thread in here is what we call a parallel thread. It's not a taper thread, so it doesn't go up and pinch. It actually goes up and stops at the end of the thread and where this retainer kisses the foot of the piston itself. So where the two come together, how do I find out at 60 foot-pounds? So what I need to do is place it in the vise 